This is a meteorite from a unique class of stones called rumorudis, which really sounds like something you would get for breakfast from Denny's. Let's take a look inside and learn a little bit more about it. As it turns out, Denny's did not name this meteorite. Most meteorites are named for where they've fallen, and that's even true of certain meteorite classes. That's the case here. In 1934, a very unique stone fell in the Rumurudi region of Kenya, and after analysis, that's where the entire class was named. And that's what we have here is a unique class of meteorite that is a little different from the chondrites and irons that we see in other places. In the case of rumorudis, they are unique because they have very little metal in them compared to other meteorites. They are highly oxidized and they show very little evidence of thermal metamorphism, so very little alteration. They're in a little bit more of a pristine, unaltered state. And generally, scientists believe that they come from some sort of unique parent body. So they come from something out in space. We don't know what just yet, but something different than a lot of the other meteorites that we encounter here on Earth. Overall, rumorudis account for less than half a percent of all meteorites recovered on Earth so far, and this one you're looking at here is really no exception. It is classified as an R3 rumorudi, which means that the chondrules, the little spheres you see that were once liquid minerals that solidified, they're very intact and unaltered, and in fact, most rumorudis are R3s of this type. This meteorite is one of 84 recoveries of an R3 type stone in this case. So very rare, very unique, and it's a pretty cool specimen to look at too. It's a 137 gram end cut that was recovered in the Tindouf region of Algeria around 2017. We see on the inside, the little chondrules visible throughout. It's got a very unique, almost rust coloring, kind of this deep, dark red and brown that we don't see in a lot of other meteorites. And if you turn it on the other side, the fusion crust is mostly worn off in favor of desert varnish, but we do see some very interesting regmaglyphs, these thumbprints that are a product of ablation as the stone was coming through the atmosphere. Now, in the case of these thumbprints, they are elongated or fluted, so they are kind of longer than they are wide. They're not just like you put your thumb in there. They're, they're kind of like you put your thumb in there and drug it across. And this gives us a sense of flight orientation. We can kind of look at this stone and get a good idea of the orientation of the direction it had as it flew through our atmosphere, eventually landing on Earth. That's a pretty rare feature to find in meteorites, particularly a rumorudi like this. So we have kind of a combination of rare features here. This is a rumorudi, which is a rare type overall. And then we have elongated or fluted regmaglyphs inside of it. Really cool, really fascinating. If you like learning about space and meteorites and everything in between, make sure to like the video, subscribe, follow along. I've got a metric space ton more to share with you.